has been undefeated since winning the 2015 Master of the Man. Of course, our next show will be Master of the Man, December 3rd, 2016, to end the On Point Wrestling Year. Brian Akuma defending that title, and we're just about ready to start this one. And uh, hey, don't forget, Dean, Masters of the Mat 2. We're going to have the ultimate bro himself here, Matt Riddle, making his on-point debut. Matt Riddle, indeed. Former UFC fighter. Current great professional wrestler. Oh, making a name for himself, oh, certainly. Yeah. Uh, you know, there are people born with certain athleticism. Uh, he's one of them. And there are two in the ring right now. Grand Akuma, of course, very impressive in his ways that he manipulates appendages. Yeah, that's one way to put it. But, uh, you know, uh, Vinny Marsalia, uh, he was supposed to be an on point of, uh, a couple of times here already. And he's finally making his debut here. Finally, indeed. And he, I, I remember seeing his name announced... Uh, two or three times yeah. previously, or at least that's what it felt like to me. Um, I think it makes more of an impact now, now that we had a chance to, uh, now that Akuma's really put together a string of, who better? What a resume. Yeah, but who better to try and stake a claim, make a name for yourself. And the fans are actually shushing each other as if we're watching, we're studying here in a library in a way. We're going to school. Oh yeah, we're gonna see what uh I mean the on point nation knows what Grand Akuma can bring to the table. Uh Vinny Marcelo, a bit of an unknown commodity to this area. Indeed. In I'm, I'm curious to see what he's gonna be able to bring to the table, especially against a man like Akuma, somebody who can uh who has great picks, can fly, can get it done on the mat. I mean, uh, has, a, has a variety of great suplexes. I'm curious to see what Vinny Marsalia is able to do against a man of Akuma's ca uh, caliber. That was smart because if you were noticing what was going on, uh, Akuma was starting to throw up his legs, trying to get some type of hold on. And uh, Vinny noticed that and just shrugged him off. Smart. He realized the danger. He realized he had to get out of it very sure. quickly. Oh, those kicks. Nice kick to the thigh. Now full arm ringer. Now he's looking for the octopus hold. He's got it. He had that arm capture to Vinny Marsalia as well. And we've seen Akuma before, how he's able to transition from one hold to the other. Will he be able to do that here against uh, the bigger man? He's trying here. Drop them down. Oh! Comes down on that knee, really wrenching it. Now it could be looking for a form of the Indian death lock. And the one thing that I can always say about Akuma and his strategy is that he is always very patient. Uh, he, he, he waits for the opportune moment, and there you go. He has somewhat of a guillotine with, with the double underhook there as well. Now, ooh. Oh, oh. Your elbow is not supposed to protrude in quite that manner. Well, not just that. The shoulder joint's getting worked on there. The elbow's getting manipulated. The wrist is getting twisted around. At least three pressure points there. And now, we're just seeing the superior uh, groundwork at this point of Grand Akuma. Oh. Marcelia trying to get a base underneath him. Akuma put a stop to that. Akuma getting a little funky. Oh. Well, then he really has to turn it around at this point. He has to turn it around and he has to... I was going to say, if he was going to the outside, it would have been a very smart thing for him to do to kind of get a timeout. There are sure. no timeouts in wrestling, of course, but similar to running out of bounds in football. Oh, Akuma trying to get something on there, but Marcelo, I think, a bit too big for what Akuma was planning. Oh, what kick from Akuma. Did a lot of damage. Hit him right on the base of the chin, and now... Oh, oh. And that could be the opening that Marsegli needed. And he's got to do this. He has to do that. He has to stay on him and not worry about the fans. 
That's a mistake in his game right now. You got to respect Akuma, no matter how yeah, good you're doing. I mean, he, he does have the upper hand right now, but uh, the evidence points otherwise that Akuma, uh, thus far in this contest, has been rolling it on the mat. Bit of a baseless claim, Vinny Marsalia. He should be ashamed of. Him. Should be. He isn't. Oh no. I wouldn't expect him to not be outside of his character. And now, Marseglia, he, 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 oh, going for a camel clutch of sorts. Bit of a uh, Steiner recliner of sorts. He's got the, uh, yeah. Akuma is elevated. That way there's a lot more pressure being put on the uh, neck when it's applied in this way. Oh, and, but Akuma, you always have to wait for him. He's going to work something out of this. Manipulating... Nice. Akuma reaching deep for those arms, pulling back on the arms now. And how quick was that to reverse that into where he now has the advantage? But he looks for openings and he strikes. And now, the irony of it. Yeah, he says, uh, you know, whatever you can do, I can do a little bit better. Just wrenching back now. Oh, but the bigger man getting up. Oh, Rams on into the unforgiving turnbuckles. Ooh. Nice European. By the Vinny there in the corner. Who's got to stop worrying about the fans? They're getting into the Yeah, you're certainly right there, Dean. Oh, what are we going to see here? Akuma's not going for it. Akuma not letting him. Oh, up kick, man. Those up kicks are so damned impressive out of Akuma. You don't see it very often in professional wrestling, but... And Akuma's got great accuracy with him. Oh. Oh, Ooh, that knee. knee. Yeah, caught him. Flush. Akuma's not having any of that. Oh! Akuma can't follow up quite yet. Miost applying the double count. And you have to figure whoever gets to a vertical base first would have the advantage. And it would be Vinny getting his feet first. By a split second though. Can't give it can't give him too much of an advantage there. Akuma, you can see, he's blocking those, those shots. And Akuma now opening up. Oh. Big clothesline line of impact. Now Akuma trying to get the on point nation to rally behind him. Kind of a washes double. him in the corner. Oh, rolls. Oh! So quick! That one, I think, caught him right in the bridge of the nose. Now Akuma, again, getting the crowd to rally behind him. Anytime you get hit in the bridge of the nose like that, your eyes water up. It makes it difficult for you to see. Looks like a fisherman. Oh! Sat out with it. Only a two. Grand Akuma would certainly like to pick up the win here to remain undefeated for the year following the Masters of the Man. Yeah, what a run that would be for Akuma. That would be a, that would put him in a running for uh, Wrestler of the Year for 2016. Oh, reverse. Oh. Oh! The big pop. Oh, that could have done it. That could have done it because Akuma was flat. After that palm kick, he was that close to ending the streak of Akuba. And that has to be what's going through his head right now. That has to be. So close. I mean, 
Hell, I mean, if you're if you're able to put away the, the reigning and defending master of the match, that that's got to get you an opportunity in the tournament uh, come December third, right? I would certainly think so. And now a roll through by Akuma misses the kick. Oh, oh, a thing of beauty out of Akuma follows it up with another stiff kick. Two and oh! I tell you what, Dan Yost is right on top of that thing. He could, have, he could have been in better position for that. A two count there. Oh, Yost is our most capable official by far. Well, he and Papa Giorgio, I think, would be neck and neck. Who? Uh, Papa Giorgio. Never heard of him. Oh, you know. Stop it. Papa Giorgio, he's the senior official here at one point. Oh. Well, Vinny Marsali on the move. Popped him one big one. Now he's looking for a second. He's got he's got Akuma on the ropes, quite literally. Now, oh! Straight down with that, with his arm on top. I mean, it's one thing to take a backdrop suplex, but to take it with an elbow drop on the way down. Just compressing the diaphragm. All the wind that you had is gone at that point. And then he's trying to think of something to put away. Akuma. Once again, looking for this uh, submission hold. Could be the sharpshooter. Perhaps no. What is this? Oh, it's kind of a sharpshooter with an ankle lock applied as well. That's different. That's really different. Very painful. Not only do you have the pain from the sharpshooter that's being applied, but that ankle being manipulated like that. That could not be good. Inside cradle, Daniels on the two and a half. Maybe a little more. Rolling Soba to Akuma. Wow. So sudden. He is, that is Akuma. Oh, cut him off. Big high kick, almost like an axe kick. Oh! Whoa, Bobby man. Buster. Somebody was watching his Arn Anderson tapes. Oh, what is this? That's one way to get into an STF that I've never quite seen before. That's very close. Grand Akuma showing why he's a master of the mat. What a brutal aggregation of STF. He's pulling up. And Benny Mercedes has forced the tap. Akuma undefeated now for a year. Ladies and gentlemen, time of the match, 12 minutes, 15 seconds for the winner by submission, Grand Akuma. Akuma, we were talking about it during the match. Imagine the run. Well, it happened. Undefeated in one year's time as Masters of the Match. My goodness, Grand Akuma picking up another great submission win. And Vinny. He was that close. Very close. What? Don't worry, buddy. You're the best.